Sasha Stanton. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Oncology, uh, Division of Oncology, Department of Medicine uh, at the University of Washington uh, in the Cancer Vaccine Institute. One of the questions that we really need to address is how to detect breast cancer recurrence early and as early as possible to um, really accurately recognize when a patient has recurred and then be able to start their treatment before their disease is too far spread. I would ultimately hope we would produce a biomarker, so a way that a woman who has been completely treated with breast cancer, we can look in her blood and say, you're at risk for recurrence and be able to address that earlier than um, we currently can with imaging or with our tumor markers. We know that the immune system sees tumors very early and develops an immune response. And one of these responses is it develops um, antibodies against these tumor proteins that are not seen in women who don't have cancer. And um, the immune system can respond to the tumor when it's very small, and it can um, create a lot of these proteins that can be detected in the peripheral blood. Um, so we found um, that women with more advanced cancer, stage three and four cancer, could have um, autoantibodies against breast cancer stem cells detected in their blood, um, whereas women who, who had no, as compared to women who had no cancer. So recurrence is, is a huge problem and a huge concern for women. First of all, it's a great anxiety. There are uh, all of my breast cancer patients, um, even it diagnosed with the earliest of tumors, are, are, are live in, in anxiety that they're going to recur and how they can tell if they're going to recur. About 20% of women with breast cancer do recur and um, it can be even higher than that depending on the stage that they originally presented. The reason that antibodies are, are exciting biomarkers is that, again, they respond to very small levels of protein and they can, um, they can increase and they're very specific. So you can recognize these antibodies against specific proteins that we know are, are associated with breast cancer stem cells or breast cancer recurrence. So the next step for this really will be um, that we need to validate this. So we've, this is a discovery set. We've um, evaluated these antibodies in, in a, a um, group of uh, patients that we have in our Cancer Vaccine Institute repository. We would now need to get an independent sample set um, from the University of Washington or even from a collaborator institution outside of the University of Washington and, and show that we see the same results in, in a completely independent data set. Um, and then the final step after that would be prospectively evaluating this. So taking women at high risk of recurrence evaluating their autoantibody panels against these eight proteins and then um, seeing if that would predict if they have more aggressive disease or if indeed they are going to recur. Breast cancer stem cells um, are um, proteins that are overexpressed in the tumor that predict it um, increased risk of relapse, predict its um, resistance to chemotherapy, and predict its ability to metastasize. And so we are trying to find indicators of um, breast cancer stem cells to really identify these proteins that are these bad actors, these, these proteins that um, will um, predict more resistance and, and these proteins that remain after the vast majority of the tumor has been destroyed by chemotherapy, by all the treatments we give, um, and really allow the tumor to possibly recur or to metastasize.